What is up guys, Blind Sebastian here with another Walking Dead episode 1, um, part 4 I believe, yes, part 4, um, um, so far I've made it from a farm to a drugstore with a bunch of new characters, this is Doug, if you haven't, um, uh, I'm gonna go through the characters, if you haven't, uh, watched my last episode, this is Doug, this is Carly, and of course I have Kenny, Clementine, Pacha, and Doug, at the farm. And over here we have Lily and Larry, and then Glenn headed out to uh, find some gas. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. And, um, uh, that's the same, I'm pretty sure that's the same Glenn from the, uh... No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. That's, that's good. I, I like that. Ha, huh. um... I'm pretty sure it's Glenn, same Glenn from um, The Walking Dead TV show I talked to. So, yeah. I guess that's my family. Yeah. My parents are broke. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. And, uh, last, in my, the last part of my video, I just said kind of gone. I don't remember them very well. So, we, uh, for you guys, because I promised I would that we had the second one, but I forgot all about it. And so it's somehow with our arm. Oh boy, dude. So now I am. Uh, uh, yeah. So sometimes our arm guy. I got two energy bars. Another energy bar? I got this stuff on the ration. Wait, connect. Oh, I can move out. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I don't really want to give it to Lily or Larry because they were kind of uh, not very nice. Trying to get some rest, hon. How can, can I with those? Better. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Yeah. Now give one to Doug. Give one to Doug. Yeah, I cannot give one to Doug. Give one to Carla. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. That should be an achievement for that. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I can tell that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. Yes. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. That's a lot of zombies. It's a combination lock. That it is. Open it. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Sorry about that. I can't good. reach that brick. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Oh, man, is that my bro? <laughs> Yep, that's my bro. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? No, it's just sad. Fucked up. Yeah, it is. Hmm. 
Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Well, it would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Hi. So, what do you plan to do with the Let's head back inside. Okay. I'm going to get out of this cover. I don't know how they're not noticing this. I guess they're like super quiet. I also can check in with everybody I've seen this one. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Boy, radio fixes that. <sighs> Nothing. No batteries. There are no batteries in this thing. Yes. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Hey, Carly. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, but... I better get back to it. Yep. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Better? One down? Okay. It's pretty convenient that there's a battery around here. Like, I'll, I'll find the other battery if I can. I'll get the part of the battery. Okay. Better? Well, that was easy. Top of the Oh, and, um. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, never mind. Uh, this battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Yay. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Check the battery. Are they in there? There, backwards. You know. Yes. As the unknown it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full. Uh, my 
What? My producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. God bless you all. Yeah. yeah, I don't think we'll be helping with Steve anymore. We'll go on there and let's help the guys and help the other. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. He didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. That's it. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Oh, man. I guess the parents didn't make it, and they told the outside, so I guess he did. That's one of the family. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him now. Say anything for your parents, okay? That's it. Good Is that the office my parents got kind of pulled out? Pulled out of? Is the phone not going with it? Cool. Good. I hope. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Is that the phone you put your phone? This door leads to the back alley. There's a photo over there. Really? Oh, no, there we go. There's my family. Find anything? No, nothing. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. 
Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Well, oh, I got just a level filing. That's good. Hello. That's the game. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. That's sad, but I... Little cane over there. Get store more than a guard dog. What's that? This Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. First aid get over there. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. And after that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. I'm about to choice. Ow! Oh. Hey. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Out. I'll find you a bandage. There's probably a bandage in that first aid. First aid. Here's there. Oh. I can never. Seems like I can never talk. Remote. What's in there? It's the remote to my dad's TV. But what's on that favorite channel I watched in my uh, episode one? Who's the guy? Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay oh, close to me until then, okay? Let's have a look at that finger. How? 
It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. It's good manners. Well, guys, I think that's about all the time we have for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching.